Welcome to Automate PPA Server 8. This video demo is meant to provide an overview of the Server Management Console or SMC. The SMC provides centralized management and administration of automated processes across networks. The first tab in the SMC is Workflows. A workflow is a high-level graphical representation of an IT or business process. From the Workflows tab, you can create new workflows by clicking on the New button and typing in a workflow name, such as Automating File Transfers. You can manually execute an individual workflow by selecting the workflow and clicking on the Run button. You can organize your workflows by creating folders and categories. If you double-click on the workflow icon, it displays the property settings for the workflow. All workflows inherit default global settings unless otherwise modified at the workflow level. Also, if you select more from the options above, you can perform additional functions including importing or exporting workflows. Let's look at the repository tab. The repository allows administrators and developers to have access to all previously used assets such as tasks, conditions, and processes. These assets are reusable and can easily be edited and incorporated into new workflows. When an asset in the repository is modified, such as a task, it will automatically update all workflows that use that specific task across multiple machines. Repository assets can be added in one of two ways. By selecting the task folder and clicking on the new button and typing email to IT or as you create tasks and conditions throughout your automation environment all assets are automatically stored in the repository. The users tab allows administrators to create users, user groups and assign various permissions ranging from full control to limited control such as create and read access. For example, let's create a new folder under user groups and call it IT. If we select the group and click on edit, we can add users such as Henry Miller and Robert Malthus. Now let's assign permissions to the IT user group. Double click on the IT user group, then double click on the security icon. Select and add the IT user group. Now we want to grant full control to workflows and tasks. Lastly, if we select users and create a new user, then we are given the option to authenticate against Active Directory. Agents are services responsible for processing workflows including tasks. All licensed agents that are connected to the server are visible in this panel. Agents can be deployed on premise and in the cloud. This allows for multi-machine execution across a heterogeneous computing environment. Deploying an agent is simple. Launch the BPA Agent Deploy Wizard by selecting the Deploy button, click Next, specify the target machine, and follow the simple instructions. The dashboard monitors performance metrics on the server, such as execution server private memory, management server private memory, lifetime workflows, and much, much more. You can create a custom dashboard by clicking on New, naming the dashboard, for example, My Dashboard, selecting Edit, and dragging and dropping to create your custom dashboard. For instance, let's create two gadgets, Connected Agents and Execution Server Threads. If I click on the Settings icon, I can specify the server type, control style, control color, theme, and max value. Let's exit the edit screen and move on to the calendar tab. The calendar allows you to see past workflow executions and scheduled workflows. In addition, you can restrict the calendar to display execution items based on repository assets such as workflows, tasks, processes, or conditions. 
The Reports tab provides a rich reporting interface that includes a wide variety of graphs, charts, and tables. Just to name a few, report types include task execution chart, workflow execution chart, an audit of all events, a list of all agents, and a list of all users and user groups. You can print or export reports to various formats including PDF, CSV, XLS, text file, etc. Lastly, you can also customize the columns in your reports. The final tab in the SMC is Options. This is where you set and manage properties for the server, the default agent, workflows, and tasks. Preferences allows you to set logging instructions to control the level of information that is displayed in the output pane located at the bottom of the screen. You can also specify when the system should check for product version updates. Server settings allow you to define how to handle data stores, SSL protocols, log management, staging environments, SQL connections, load management, among others. For example, I can establish a default SQL connection by defining the SQL DB parameters. Default properties is where you define global settings for your agents, workflows, and tasks. Any newly created tasks, workflows, and agents will inherit their properties according to how they are defined here. Connections allows you to add, edit, or remove connections to other BPA servers. Licensing allows you to add new automate BPA server software licenses or remove existing ones. Thank you and that concludes this video demo on the server management console.